Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique. And today we're going to take a look at adding width and character to a clap sample using Stereo Savage. I highly suggest using a good set of earphones or headphones or monitors for this tutorial. Here I have a loop. And we're going to focus on this clap sample. First thing we're going to do is drop Stereo Savage onto that channel and add a bit of width and see what that sounds like. That's width. That's without. So you can tell that we're already a bit wider and that's a step in the right direction. However, if we use the effect module and select the delay effect, we can add a lot more to that clap in terms of width and character. So let's go ahead and listen to that now. And without. You might have noticed that the out is actually redlining over here. And that's because as we add width and as we add the delay effect, we're actually adding more audio to the channel, which gives us a boost in the gain or the volume. So what we can do is take the level and just roll it back a little bit. And that's about the same now. One thing that's really cool about the delay effect as it's applied to claps is that you can go pretty long. You can go to up to 40 milliseconds on the delay. Now the delay is adding that short amount of delay to the left and the right channels to give that width. And claps happen sometimes very short together and sometimes longer apart. So we can go ahead and audition that and see what it sounds like at 40 milliseconds. Now that's pretty far apart, but it like again, with the clap, it sounds really good. If we go to negative, it kind of reverses the stereo field. So that's negative 40. That's positive 40. Now we have already improved the clap a bunch. However, we can take the delay parameter and automate it over time to give a little bit more liveliness and a little bit more character to the claps themselves. And the way to do that is inside of Ableton Live, you wanna get the automation line. The quick way to get the automation line to be shown on the channel is just to click the parameter and move it around a little bit. And as you can see, now this automation line is for Stereo Savage effects delay amount, and that's what we're looking for. However, if I wanted to do the width, if I just click and drag, you can see that it's updated to width inside Ableton Live, which is really nifty. Can work out to be a lot quicker than going in and having to select from the drop-down menus. But either way, we've got the effects delay amount selected. Let's add some variation to the claps. Now I'm gonna do something a bit more drastic than I would usually, just so I can kind of show you uh, what I'm talking about in terms of adding a feeling of liveliness to the claps themselves. So let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. So you can hear that it's moving around a little bit and something like that is perfect. Something like that a lot of new producers miss in their productions. Even though it's not in your face movement, it's still there and it's adding a lot. It's adding a, the next level of professionalism to your track. And we did that in a few steps and in a few minutes using Stereo Savage. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.